Well, we began this noon in the South Valley. Two arrests have been made after a fire at the Porterville City Library. The firefighter killed has also been identified. Good afternoon. I'm Megan Roop. Thank you for joining us. And today, the department is mourning the loss of 35 year old Raymond Figueroa, a fire captain with the Porterville Fire Department. Hours ago, fire officials confirming the other firefighter is still missing at this hour, identifying him as 25 year old Patrick Jones. Crews have been on scene all morning. They're putting out hot spots. The fire started yesterday in the children's section of the library. The building is just a block away from the fire department. Porterville authorities say the fire is arson. Our Fabiola Ramirez has been out on scene throughout the morning hours where crews are hoping to access this building soon. Fabi, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Megan. Fire crews have been here all night and morning putting out those hotspots and until recently they have been able to take out some of the debris from inside the building. They are trying to make their way inside where they believe a firefighter Patrick Jones is trapped. Fire officials say the roof caved in, making the building unsafe to enter, but are hoping to make access sometime today. All morning, we have seen people from the community gather around the library, a landmark, and a total loss. Everyone also grieving the loss of Fire Captain Raymond Figueroa. Many in the community knew him and say he was very involved in education, youth, and that he was an inspiration to everyone who knew him. It is a big loss that has been felt all throughout the community, especially for the Fire Department family. The city of Portville has identified Fire Captain Raymond Figueroa, 35 years old, as the firefighter who was killed in, in the city of Portville Library Fire. Captain Figueroa started his career with Portville City in 2007. Buildings can be replaced, but the personnel are, are, the, are the life and the energy uh, of the city. And Police have arrested two 13-year-olds from Porterville accused of starting the fire. Both have been booked and are facing charges of arson, manslaughter, and conspiracy. Today, City Hall, as well as many other businesses, have decided to stay closed. And community members have came by, dropped off some flowers to pay their respect. And we've seen all sorts of people also bringing any items like water, Gatorades, pizza, anything that can help the firefighters who are here on scene. And we've also seen a lot of firefighters from many communities as well as far as Fres as Merced and Fresno coming to help and assist while the firefighters from Porterville grief the loss of one firefighter and looking for another one at this time. Megan, I'll send it back to you.